Isochemie. Use the blue technology. Wir sind hier bei den Isotop window sill forms. I don't know how precisely you plan the bottom part of your window installation. This area can easily be the cause of thermal bridges or moisture damage on the inside. This can be avoided using the appropriate forms. So here we have illustrated a few examples on this data sheet as examples for your planning and calculation. The technical data sheet contains a selection of possible cross sections that you may use as a guide. However, we produce the forms to our customers' requirements in 1.2 meter lengths to a width of 57 centimeters and a height of 200 millimeters. Here we have a few examples. So this is a simple window sill wedge as the contact surface for the aluminium or natural stone window sill. The same applies to the connection for the window sill with the window sill connection profile for the window. Or with this folded down edge at the front for integration into the thermal insulation composite system. Wedge shaped cross sections are also possible. For example, as a contact surface at the top on our isotop wind framer to allow suspended foil to be fitted so that water cannot build up there, or in order to fit other wedges beneath the roller layer in the bricks, for example. It is ideal if the inner window sill, the window contact surface, and the contact surface on the outer window sill are made from an insulating material. Then I will have no thermal bridges at all. I can fix it into an element as required by gluing it to the window breast. And as it is also possible for me to screw it in with recesses for the window, i.e. the window connection profile into the window sill. And it is fixed to the window breast with isotop facade seal, i.e. we glue these elements to the window breast so they are fixed, can be straightened, are airtight inside and are also resistant to driving rain. If you have ever fitted such an element, then you can imagine how easy it is to install the window. We stand it up on a thermally insulated and straightened windowsill connection. Here we see such an insulation position which reflects the timber construction. In a timber construction, I always need to make sure that no moisture from condensation or driving rain can reach the bottom window connection area or penetrates into the insulation level or thermal insulation composite system. There is a continuous window sill form beneath this window. The window is stood on this accordingly. Here we have an EPDM tray in addition to the window sill form. This EPDM tray is made up at the factory with appropriate vulcanized corners. It is produced to the customer's requirements. These corners are vulcanized so they are tight. They are not folded or cut in any way. I insert it here as required, and when I glue it to the window reveal and to the window, it creates a really tight tray. And after installation of the window sill and the attached window reveal insulation board, here we have the perfect thermal insulation, the perfect planned and structurally correct window installation. And as already mentioned, this is the lifesaver of timber construction. The EPDM window sill forms thus present a reliable basis for optimum window installation.